things. But um, I want to know, what is the ANA's goal? Like, do you guys think that we have enough nurses that staffing as well? Do you guys think that this is just not the right answer? You want more nurses, but this is not the way to get it. What does ANA stand? Because the coalition against is just against, but they never propose another option because I'm in the belief that we mm-hmm. need something to mm-hmm. happen. So do you, does the ANA have a, have a proposal? Outside of this? The ANA has a white paper on nursing What's staffing. The white paper, which yes. is? Um, it is a study that was commissioned to look at nursing staffing. We do believe that we need to have more nurses okay. providing care, but we do not believe that the ratio of nurse to patient is the only factor to be including. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so back in 2012, ANA um, enforced this like white paper guideline, and, and it has adopted into federal regulation in some states. So, mm-hmm. um, I, do we have the paper? I can have it on my phone. Okay. Um, certain states have implemented this, where it does have a hospital-based, uh, committee-based um, implementation. So, ANA has guidelines in which, is it this? And so these so are the ANA's core components, core of, nurse components of nursing staffing. Nursing staffing. Yeah. And so this is going to be on the screen. Yeah, thank you. This is going to be on the screen. You guys can check it out while we go through it. And so what we believe is that patient outcomes are very important to safe patient staffing. Yes. Right. So we want, but it's different in every hospital. Okay. Different in every clinic, different in every st- different situation. So it's a, it needs to be individualized. So what we enforce and hope to to accomplish is to have hospitals form committees in which they designate what is safe. Okay. And so, there is a federal guidelines that have been passed in certain law in certain states like Illinois. Okay. So um so my the only follow up question I can't ask to that question is what if the hospital decides you know what. I believe in our committee, we've decided that one nurse can have eight patients. What, what, what is, what, what can stop a hospital from putting that into place? Is there anything? So the makeup of the committee is very important for ANA. It needs to be made up of at least 50% direct care nurses. So I really like that. I I really like, so I'm just going to jump out ahead of y'all and just say, I really like that decision because yes, I do believe different hospitals have different you know, patient populations, number one, different hospital have different nurses, right? Um, so a patient is not just a patient is not just a patient. Every patient is different and every patient needs their individualized care. So if you tell me that one, four, you know, one nurse can take care of four per- patients around the world and all tele-units, I'm like, ah, I don't believe you. I don't believe that that's the number for everybody. But I also do believe that there is a limit. I don't care how cool, how great of a nurse you are. Don't t- you can't tell me as your nurse you have the best skills on the planet. You're just one person, and you can take care of 12, 13, 14 patients. I don't believe that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I I have just a, a couple more questions about um, just the um, the way that you guys want to move forward if this bill doesn't pass. Mm-hmm. This bill doesn't pass. Everyone, you guys are successful. The ANA, the Coalition to Protect Patient Safety, wins. Do you guys then put your own proposal? Do you guys then just push harder on the white pages? What do you guys do next? So we push for federal legislation, and we're also happy to sit down with other nursing organizations within the state to come up with state proposal for legislation as well. So, And if if I could have just a... A little bit of time please, to please. go over some of these core components of nurse staffing. By all means. You know, all, st- all settings need to have well-developed staffing guidelines with measurable nurse-sensitive outcomes. That way you really are looking at evidence. RNs are full partners working with other healthcare professionals yes. in a collaborative way. Yes. RNs, including direct care nurses, have to have a substantive and active role. And as I said, more than 50% of, of the committees. Of these yeah. Staffing needs to be determined based on an analysis of the healthcare consumer's status in that setting. Um, need to be staffing needs to be based on allocating the appropriate number of competent practitioners. It isn't. It isn't only one thing. Cost effectiveness is an important consideration, because money is not unlimited it's not. in these situations. 
and the reimbursement structure should not influence nurse staffing patterns or the level of care provided. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate this. If you guys were informed or educated in any way, shape, or form by these stories, um, please hit that like button. If you liked my presentation of the news, I really suggest you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time Q the Nurse drops some hot, fresh press news. Thank you. Catch you next week. Deuces.